Hi all, it's another Q&A. Um, questions I received last week and then quite a few questions I had for others because we're unfortunately in an aphid outbreak right now. So we'll get into that in a little bit. The first question is, how do you determine when to add nutrients based on EC? So they were referencing like if the nitrogen is really high, that will drive up the EC, but then your potassium might be really low. So um, how we do that is we send off a water sample every three weeks and we have a, a, a nutrient recipe we adjust. We're always fine tuning it. And then if the EC is low, we add in fertilizer out of our nutrient barrels. Next question is, what is the PPFD delivered by the light and what is the photo period? So PPFD at night with the lights on um, 45 to 65, um, kind of, there's kind of bright spots right under the light. Um, we do have them, they could be raised up more. And what is the photo period? Uh, we shut the lights off for eight hours every night, so 16 hours. And if the sunlight, if the sun is shining, uh, we don't run the lights. What spacing do you use for basil? So we use these here, a 36 hole raft. The spacing is five and five eighths inches, I believe. And what rafts do we use for final harvest on basil? We never transplant, but we only transplant basil once. So out of these 162 trays, um, the basil will get transplanted into this and then that's what it gets harvested out of. What spacing do you use for cut and come again crops like arugula, parsley, or cilantro? We actually don't do those cut and come again. The only ones we do cut and come again are chives and mint, but same thing. Um, all the herbs uh, we grow on the 36 hole raft, the five and five eighths spacing. And do we add silicate to the water? Um, silica no we don't uh, I would assume some is coming in on our source water uh, I don't actually know that for sure but we always have a, a trace amount in our water samples okay aphid outbreak so yeah this is this is pretty humiliating I thought I had it uh, all dialed in ladybug just landed on me perfect timing I thought the ladybugs um, were gonna keep them all under control but um, they they didn't. Uh, we've always maintenance sprayed with like azadiractin and pyrethrins. And um, I thought with just being a super, super consistent schedule on ladybugs, introducing ladybugs, we were gonna be fine. So we started backing off and that did not work. So we have a really bad outbreak right now. So um, that's customer, uh, two customers have complained and that's the first time that's ever happened, complained about aphids. So it's really bad. Um, we'll be out of it in about probably about nine more days. Um, we have two more, uh, two more infect, infected harvests um, that we'll have. And then what we've done, I'll just show you, what we've done for it is like these barriers here, because they, they'll tend to host on the romaine. So like if we'd look hard enough, we could probably see a few aphids in this romaine yet, but then we have this barrier so hopefully they're not um, spreading back. Uh, we are we are dipping the plants, the young transplants like these. Uh, we dip these in um, uh, pyganic right before we transplanted them. And so the reason for that would be twofold. One, it washes a lot of aphids off. The aphids don't grab on very hard. And then also the ones that stay um, hopefully get killed. And I really, really like this quote. I read it a long time ago and I reflect on it often. There is no gardening without humility. Nature is constantly sending its oldest scholars to the bottom of the class for some egregious b blunder. Uh, that is so true. Another question I had was like, as far as dipping the plants, like what are folks using? Um, one that came up was uh, Mycotrol or Botanigard mixed with an Azadiractin. Um, it, gr it grows a fungus on their abdomen and then the azadiractin keeps them from molting so they can't shed that that fungus. Um, we're just using uh, Pyganic and um, Az Azamax or Azagard. So that's what we're doing. I, we're getting ahead of it and uh, we're also introducing a lot of uh, ladybugs. So yeah, that I think wraps it up for this time. Thanks a lot.